Isn't that superb? Found that at Nuremberg, probably the first year I went in 81, Jean Herfler producing them. It never stopped producing them. It's such a lovely idea. Just a simple little quivering spring with a bird on it in a cage, and it makes that wonderful noise as the spring goes in and out of the point where the whistle starts. There's a cat looking on, hoping to be able to grab it for a meal. I don't know. So this is one of the many bird toys I've got in my collection. I thought I'd show you a few more because there's so many toys out there which depict birds in all their different forms. The very first one I came across, this is back in the late 60s I think it was, with this long running small motor, which is a, a, a wind-up motor, it just is powered by a little wheel like that instead of the old ski that I was using for years and years and years. A whole new technology came in with a long running motor with a main of nylon and it could be used for bath toys as well. This is Woodstock, of course. Woodstock from Peanuts by Schultz, the cartoon. And it was a forerunner of a whole range of those. I've got about 300 now with this simple mechanism for winding it up. Just a little knurled wheel, long running motor, and waterproof as well. And it's a beauty, I think. This one is one of my favorites because it's a forerunner really of all the others, the granddaddy. Woodstock still going, 40 years later. Good one, good on you, mate. Here's an interesting one. It's actually a little item for kids to keep their pencil on. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pencil top, really. But it's an automaton as well, because this thing is going to move... Well, I have to put it on a surface with a bit more friction, so let's put it on white paper and see what happens if I push it along the paper. Look at that action. Flap, 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 flap. The rather ungainly way in which penguins actually walk across the ice. That's exactly what they do, isn't it? Going along like that. But when all is said and done, it's a, it's a pencil top for kids to be able to store their pencils on. Nice one. I like the scarf too. <laughs> beauty. Absolute beauty, that. I've got a couple of clothes peg toys which both show, show birds. This is the first one which I came across in the mid-80s. It was a Hungarian design, I think it is, and Kurt Nath's company in Switzerland was showing it at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. So it's a bird made of wood, was steel legs and it's mounted on a clothes peg so if I squeeze the clothes peg what happens? Something quite extraordinary. The lovely action of the bird dipping down perhaps to pick up a nut on the ground or pick up a worm or have a sip from a bird bath, I don't know. But what a lovely simple action that is. It's so elegant and unexpected too. When I first squeezed it I thought how on earth could they do that? And it is just a clothes peg, it will sit on your finger. I think in the office you could use that though for holding papers together so they didn't blow around in the breeze with the fans going. So it's probably got a, a use in the office as well, but so elegant, so looking. Then a much more recent one, produced by Robert Race, who I've met on occasions. Um, it's a very, very nice little bird, again, mounted on a clothes peg. And Robert produced this about 20 years ago. When you squeeze it, what happens? Well, the bird dips down. He's probably trying to pick up a little bit of juice or something in that acorn, looks like. But what a beautifully made mechanism and simple one too as well just by a bit of gravity I think it's done at the bottom there so a brilliant bit of design by Robert Race that's a nice one <laughs> then there's those wonderful couple Andrew and Lawrence and Ledger I've known for many years I shall be seeing them shortly in fact and um, they come up with a series of wonderful automatons about this big all of which have an amusing action and the ones I've got of course are all birds so here's the first of them it's the old stork, and how does it uh, get a baby to the mother? Well, drops it down the chimney. Children are told, perhaps in the Middle Ages, that um, babies arrive by stork carried in. It's an old folk tale, really, isn't it? But that's been so well depicted by Anson and Lawrence in their work on miniaturization of automatons. So there's a few more of these, but the trouble is it's, it's difficult to show them uh, with... with um, holding them in the hand, I feel I've got to put them on a still block because they're so small and minute and they need a bit of stillness to make them work. So we'll have a go at um, demonstrating the others. <laughs>
amazing.